Okay, so one of the things we do here at Blackstone Valley Piano is we replace buttons and we replace shoes or balance holes. Okay. These are four keys. We just happen to have four of the same model, same manufacturer, concert grand in the shop at the same time. And we're going to do uh, something, we're going to solve a problem that's been um, an issue with these large concert grants since this particular manufacturer made a change. As you can see, all four of these keys are the same model. Um, not a lot has changed. Capstan placements changed a little bit. Uh, balance hole placements changed a little bit. Uh, front rail pin placements changed a little bit. But the biggest contrast in the keys is when you look at them from the side. What this manufacturer did is they, they had some action and keyboard changes. So they significantly reduced the height of the keys. They took away the shoe. They took away the reinforcement plate and they shortened the button. As you can see, quite a difference. Now I have those measurements to actually show what they did. So let's take a look here. Here's the two different keys. Okay. So the original key height of this old style concert grand key, the original height of the key stick is one inch and seventy thousandths tall. Okay, that's the old style. The new style, they reduced that height from one inch and seventy thousandths to nine hundred and thirty five thousandths. Basically that's one hundred and thirty five thousandths less than the old style. Basically, this key stick itself is more than an eighth of an inch shorter than the original key. What that did was it made these keys very spongy and flexible because it's a very long key. They also eliminated the shoe. See on the old key there's a shoe on the bottom of the key. The new key, there is not. See? No shoe. What they did is they just drilled a hole into the bottom of the key and used that, which is also a bad idea too because the key is made out of sugar pine. Sugar pine is relatively soft. This shoe is basswood, which is a basically a soft hardwood, but it stands up much longer than the sugar pine. Also, if you look, the button on the old key is 2 and 13 sixteenths long. Button on the new key is 2 and a quarter inches long. That's 9 sixteenths less than the old style. That significantly weakens the key also, because this portion of the key, basically almost in the center of the key, because the key is a lever, having a shorter button weakens the key because this is the weakest part of the key, because it's mortised out for the balance hole. So you can see from the top how much shorter the button is. So again, it's weakening further an already compromised key. Another thing the manufacturer did was they eliminated this reinforcing plate. Okay? It's a very long reinforcing plate. There is no reinforcing plate. And the overall height of the old style key in the center, where it's where the strength is needed 
on the old key was 1.580. That's over one and a half inches. On the new key, it's 1.180. It's four hundred thousandths of an inch less in height. So again, this makes the key very spongy and flexible and hard to control compared to the old style key, which is just beautifully made, big, thick, overdone, which makes for a very nice playing piano. So essentially what we're going to do to this keyboard is we're going to add that reinforcing plate, okay, to the key. We're going to add the, the full length button on top of it, just like the old one. So as you can see, what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to duplicate, excuse me, I've got it backwards, or I'm going to copy the old style. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this big reinforcing plate on top, put a new button on, which is the original length, which will strengthen it. The reinforcing plate will strengthen it. The new button will strengthen it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the shoe back on. Okay? So we're going to put a shoe, hardwood shoe, like on the old key. Reinforcing plate. The length button. So that should restore nearly all of the strength back into the key. See that? There's the old one. There's the new one. So that's what we're going to do for a fix. The only thing we can't fix is the original height of this key is one inch and seventy thousand. This is point nine three five. So it's an, an eighth of an inch essentially less in height. But by putting the new shoe on, the reinforcing plate, okay, and the new button, it's going to make these keys feel just as good as them because these keys are really overbuilt. So we'll get this keyboard right back to where the keys don't flex and you have very good control over the instrument. So we're going to do that right now.